Okay, for the round braid, I'm gonna start with a knot at the top. You need four strands. They should all be the same length. I don't know how long to tell you to tell them. I don't know how long to tell you they should be, but they should definitely be longer than the actual length that you want your cordage when you're finished, because, yeah. Okay, so first, you're gonna kinda have two on the edge and two in the middle. So first you're gonna twist the ones in the middle, and then you're gonna bring the one from the outside in and cross over both of those. And then this blue one, you're gonna cross over that one. Okay, so now you have orange and blue in the middle. Now you're gonna do the red. Cross over the middle two, and then the one that's closest to that one twists over it. Now we're gonna do green. Bring it over those two, twist over. Now blues turn over here, over the middle two, green twists over blue. Now oranges turn over here, over the middle two, blue goes over orange. Now reds turn, over the middle two, orange over red. Now green, over the middle two, red over green. So it's whichever one, when you cross the outside one over, it's whichever one is closest to it is gonna go over it. Okay, and kind of after you twist that middle one over, keep your thumb on it, otherwise it'll untwist and you wanna keep it straight. Then this one over here is turned, so you're just gonna alternate sides over the middle two, Twist over that. Red. Hope that makes sense. Then you'll have a cool round braid when you're done. Kind of looks like a boondoggle. Boondoggle? Is that what we call them? I mean, like infinity of those at scout camp. Kind of what it looks like. I used to make those. All right, so have happy round braiding. It might be a little more tricky with leather, but it'll be cool. It'll be very thick and very sturdy. All right, happy braiding.